Spike Mandan coming at you live. All right, so what we got here today, I want to show you all. I bought and purchased these new LED lights off of Walmart.com. And the nice feature about these little LED lights is they not only have certain features, but they are also a hundred lumens a piece. Extremely bright. Do not stare directly into them. They will blind you. And uh. I'm gonna do a little test run here up and down the street just to give you guys an example. But before we do that, I also wanna show you guys just how bright they are before I even hit the road. So you push this little side button. Bam, you got instant headlights on your mini bike. And the nice thing about these little lights is not only are they LED cost efficient, they also have a USB rechargeable port. So you can take these, they have rubber straps. You can literally take these right off the bike. No need for a screwdriver, no need for unbolting. They just have rubber straps. You just unstretch them and you just hook them up to your USB charger. And another thing that's nice about these things, you have different brightness adjustment settings. And they also have multiple settings. They have strobe, flashing. These things do all sorts of stuff. So you can literally be driving down the road with the strobes on and still have efficient lighting. Or you can set them right back to a uh, regular light. And all you have to do is just hold the button down. And they go right back to normal light. Now to adjust the brightness, you just click it for maximum brightness. Right now they're at their most maximum brightness. And according to the packaging of what I bought them, they say on maximum brightness, you can actually run them that way for up to two hours. And that's max on a full charge. So I'm going to go ahead and start this bad boy up. And we're going to go ahead and give it a little test run down the road as my camera woman uh, films me going by. We're going to see just how well this illuminates the road. Of course, you're always going to want to wear gloves first because everybody knows the grips that come with these bikes, not the most comfortable. And I got to say, just for the walkway alone, that is illuminated perfectly. Always make sure your fuel's turned on and your choke's on first.
like a mat. So that was pretty good. Uh, overall, I think the lights could use a little more adjustment. I think what I'm gonna do is place these down lower by the tire so that way the light is more on the road. And we can go ahead and actually do that right now just to see if that makes the uh, light more better further on the road. And it's so easy. This, this is exactly what I'm looking for in a headlight system on a mini bike. The fact that you can just literally take them right off and adjust them anywhere you want and also I don't know if many of you are familiar with the you can see how it has like the rubber mount but mo the one thing I just recently found out you can actually adjust the angle which is so weak like that is that's absolutely what you want you want the most adjustable light on your bike so I'm thinking placing them lower down by the front tire with the angle pointed down towards the street. And because they're just rubber straps, it's just stretch and go. So we're going to try that out and see what it does. See if that helps improve my uh, visuals on the road or whatnot. about most of you but for some odd reason I kind of like them down lower so that way it helps me see what I'm about to be riding over versus higher up because it doesn't exactly give you uh, what I'm noticing is with them being as high up as they were wasn't seeing the road as much as I'd like to so we're gonna try this out and see what it does So what I noticed so far, major improvement. Illuminates the road a lot better. You can see where your front tire is going. You know what to avoid. All that good stuff. I'm, I'm much, much better liking it on the, uh, the lower end of the forks here. So if we get a front view shot over here. You can see just clearly how freaking bright those darn things are. They are a hundred lumens a piece. So you got 200 lumens working for you on that road. And like I said, they are rechargeable, 
They're well worth the buy, and you can buy them on Walmart.com. Sorry to say Go Power Sports, but your guys' stuff just ain't quite as good as this. And with that being said, I'm trying to help people out find a better buy other than just Go Power Sports. But, like, don't get me wrong. I'm going to get the Predator 212. I'm going to get the whole engine upgraded without i'm gonna have the whole thing swapped out and upgraded before i even set the engine in this little frame so i'm giving mad props to go power sports for having all the upgrades on the engine that i'm planning on getting and thank you walmart.com for having the awesome bike light set that's totally rechargeable you don't have to go out and buy batteries for it or nothing so that saves you money in the long run and I'm trying to help everybody else save money. So be safe on the road. Get your mini bike with lights if you pl plan on riding at night. Because law enforcement will sure as heck appreciate the hell out of that. And I got another set of lights getting ready to show up in the mail here. And that's going to be the tail lights. So I'm going to have headlights and tail lights. So I got the headlights on there already. But I'm still missing the taillights, so as soon as I get done with that, this thing will be all road worthy and set and ready to go for nighttime riding. My name is Spike Man Dan, and I appreciate you all watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, and please do subscribe.